All right, so I'm pretty sure you guys have seen the infamous Mano Bubba 100X, uh, Bubba 100 Times video. I don't even know how you say buddy's name, but regardless, I'm about 24 hours late, but y'all bear with me. But anyway, man, Bubba walks up to Mano and starts asking Mano a couple questions. And towards the tail end of the interview, because there's only a clip so far where you can see him getting choked out, he asks Mano if he can borrow his chain. Now, of course, Mano starts looking at him and dude kind of like rambling off some excuses on why he wants to wear the chain and Mano says hey man you just chatting right now and if you don't know what that is New York slang for chatting just means uh you talking too much you just running your mouth and so after that point he goes ahead and goes into his next question and he asks Mano on a scale of one to ten how much do you think I can beat your ass and of course Mano if you know who Mano is, he wasn't going to go for that shit. And he, Im he immediately chokes him out. Now, there was plenty of signs that this was about to go left. And just dude just never picked up on it. Uh, first off, Mano hit him with the infamous like stance where it's just like, all right, bro, whatever you say to me next, better sound good. He hit him with that type of stance. Dude didn't pick up on it. And, of course, proceeds to ask the dumbass question. But regardless of the fact, in the second clip that you see at the bottom, dude says, it's just a video. It's just a prank. How many times have I fought with y'all in this comment section by saying just because you say it's a prank doesn't mean that the person that got pranked is supposed to stop feeling what they feel? How many times have I said that? Y'all think that just because you mess with somebody and you say it's a prank, it's supposed to make them all of a sudden, oh, oh man, that's that's a hell of a prank. Oh, I love it. Oh, man. Oh, yeah, that's a good one, man. Post that on YouTube. No, everybody don't feel like that, bro. Everybody ain't with the shits. And this is why I keep telling y'all that pranking is the lowest form of comedy. I am somebody that laughs at a lot of dumb shit. A lot of it. I just went to the movies to watch Cocaine Bear. Laughed my ass off. I love dumb shit. But pranking is ass. It fucking sucks. It just shows me that you're not funny. You want, to, you want people to laugh at you at the expense of other people. That's not funny. You're just watching. You're just basically feeding on people's intrusive thoughts. That's all that is. People find pranks entertaining because it plays on their intrusive thoughts. Like, what's it, oh, what would happen if you threw a pie at somebody? Because you know you're not going to do it in real life. Why? Because you know there's consequences. So people like looking at you do dumb shit because they want to live vicariously through you because they know that if they did it, what the real consequences would be. So my thing is, man, one day y'all going to learn. And as I said before, and it's already going to happen. Y'all pranks is going to get hurt or killed messing with people because you think that just because you say it's a prank at the end of it everything is supposed to stop now i know that this dude is a content creator he's going to get his views he's going to get his likes he's going to get his money but is it worth it because mano didn't punch you he choked you so now you look like a bitch because he held you like a like a, a like a dog that didn't know how to act by the neck to the ground so now you're embarrassed so now you got your little check but now everybody's gonna remember you as a dude that got choked out by mano and that's how that worked for other for other artists that when that shit happens to them. At Youngberg, and then no disrespect to Youngberg, because I fuck with Youngberg. But Youngberg had something similar happen to him, I think, against Mano. And dude had to go through a whole rebrand as Hitmaker. You you might have wanted to get punched because now you really look bitched out because he literally choked you and you didn't do shit about it. And you know you couldn't do shit about it because Mano and his guards were probably gonna stump the shit out of you. But I wanna know what you guys think, man. I don't wanna ramble too long on this, man, but I, I I love seeing this. I love seeing pranksters get their shit kicked in. I love it.